Hey guys, time and tide waits for none. Neither does WooCommerce and its extensions. So why shall WC Marketplace be behind? We have also updated ourselves to 2.6.0, and this time it is a critical update. Do not panic. We at WCMP will definitely make your journey easier through this video. In this update, you will see better navigation, optimized grouping of related settings. all aimed towards providing better user experience we will have both the older and the current version running side by side to understand the differences currently wcmp is a menu which we can see in our left screen while previously wcmp was a sub menu under woocommerce as we can see in our right browser screen which is running wcmp 2.5.4 earlier WCMP commissions could be accessed under WooCommerce menu or by clicking WCMP commission link under general tab. Currently, it is a sub menu under WCMP. University announcements too have shifted from under WooCommerce to WCMP. This has been done primarily to provide admin a single segment to traverse various WCMP options. Let's go to WCMP settings. As we can see products to do list pages extension tabs are no more here in this update to do list and extensions can now be accessed under WCMP products and pages have been nested inside capabilities and vendor tabs respectively more of which we will discuss later in this video general tab has three links now the most basic and important settings that need to be set globally have all come under general link Most of the part under it has remained the same. The settings under single product multiple seller and vendor review and rating links have been amended to the general settings in this update and hence the menus have been scraped off. Enable policies and show customer support details have been migrated from policies and customer support menus to general settings thereby ensuring if admin chooses to uncheck any of these options they may not require to visit the respective link at all going to the policies link and opening the capabilities tab as well we can see most of the settings have remained the same while others have been moved from policy settings under capabilities tab to policies link under general tab this step was taken to establish all policy settings are under one roof similarly for customer support all the settings have been kept parallel with the previous wcmp version amended to it is the vendor customer support section and its setting has been migrated from customer support settings section under capabilities tab coming to the vendor tab we can see vendor settings have now been replaced by vendor pages under which we have wcmp pages and vendor dashboard endpoints in our earlier version wcmp provided various vendor pages We have now moved on from pages to endpoints going by the latest WordPress and WooCommerce conventions to know more about endpoints refer to our description below the only two pages that are still available are vendor dashboard and registration which can be set here under WCMP vendor dashboard endpoints you can set the endpoints the WooCommerce section label that was present under vendor settings now has moved to the bottom while Vendor registration still remains the same. The front end tab and its contents have continued to be the same. Similarly, payment tab and its contents have also continued to remain the same. The contents under capabilities have undergone a makeover just in order to be simplified and admin friendly. Settings under capabilities previously had no sub menus. Now it has been grouped into 3 sub menus. product order and miscellaneous products have been divided into sections where leaving the product capability section others have been migrated from the products tab submit products and publish products under products capability were previously under uploading product data section submit coupons publish coupons and upload media files have moved up from miscellaneous section Edit publish products and edit publish coupons are a new addition to capabilities. Under order link, 
order export data or report export data and order email settings for vendor have not been changed while order notes are nothing but view and submit comments under miscellaneous section in the previous version of WCMP. Under miscellaneous link, the remaining options related to vendor capability that do not fall under vendor's product and order capability have been grouped beneath it. This has brought us to the end of our video. I'm sure it was an easy and exciting ride for you to know about the latest developments at WCMP. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with the latest trends of WCMP.